just understand. <laughs> Sorry. But um, just understand that he, he's happy and healthy down there inside. Okay. Um, has it been some time since he's passed? Oh, quite a long time, okay. yeah. Just because he showed, he's, he's healthy, it's been a while, and that mm -hmm. he is starting now to show his energy. So you'll probably start getting signs from him and bits and pieces here and there, mm -hmm. because he's now getting that energy to show up. Suicide's a very weird thing. So you have, I think there's four choices, I believe. So when you pass away from suicide, there's choice. There's not choices exactly you can make. There's things that can happen. Mm -hmm. You can either get stuck in the physical world and become a ghost, um, which he didn't do. Bless that, thank God. You can be automatically reborn into a new, into a new body until you learn your lesson. Mm -hmm. um, you can get into the right door, which is a room full of other people that committed suicide that walk around in the dark with their heads down and not realize that anyone else is in the room until you learn what you're what you did wrong. Um, or you cross over. So he's crossed over. This is a blessing. It's a good mm -hmm. thing. Um, I never really see spirits that are lost that commit suicide much. I know that my spirit guide has told me because some people come to me and say, this person committed suicide. I want to talk to this person. And my spirit guide will be like, they're lost. They're not here right now. But there are times where spirit is crossed over. And he's crossed over. He's happy and healthy. Like he wants his family to know that. Okay. Um, he does discuss about the hard part of actually... His parents, are you close to his parents still? Or? Am I? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, I am. Because he wants to talk with the parents, okay? And they're still both alive. Oh, yeah. Just, yep. Because he's talking about how hard it was for them, obviously, to bury their own child type situation. And they didn't know what to do. They weren't expecting any of this. They knew mm -hmm. he had issues, mm -hmm. but they weren't expecting any of this. And he says, I'm sorry for the, the, the way that things had to go down. Um, he wants to express his gratitude towards them for being so strong. Mm -hmm. um, is there issues with the father? Do you know him? Or his father? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does he have depression type situation yeah. too? Because he says it's hereditary in my family, that he, okay. it's been passed down. Mm -hmm. So that's where it comes from. Do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, God, he's a chitter chatter back. He has a lot to say over here right now. Yeah. Um, so just know that he, and he's watching out for his father. His father is has, I don't think it's not, I, suicide has never written in our charts, mm -hmm. so I can't tell you, yes, this is going to happen to him, but he says that he worries his father is on that path type situation. Do you understand what I mean? I do understand it. Now, how old is his father? Um, Probably about, let's see, maybe 48, 49. Okay. Just because, and he, and he tells me that his father, his father thinks about this kind of stuff. He does. Oh like, yeah, I'm he, sure he does. And yeah. With that being said, is he'll his son, um, what's his name? Anthony. Anthony. So Anthony will yell, and I don't know if his father hears it, but he'll hear no, like, <coughs> no, and that's because his, his son's trying to not let that happen to him. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Now his mother too. His mother has issues, but not as bad as the father. His mother's very isolated, I should say. Do you understand what I mean? Does yep. she kind of step back a little bit from people and you know things like that? Yeah, she does. Okay. Yeah. But does she, is she very kind of hard still though? I feel like she's, she's very kind hearted. I yes. feel like she still kind of gives. gives yes, gives. she does. Does she do yep. volunteer work at all? Um, like I don't know. She works at a restaurant, but she's always looking out for the elderly, elderly okay. and stuff like that. So yeah, she she's caring like that. Okay. Just know that he's proud of her. So just okay. tell her that he's very proud of her. Um, who is, so wait, this is your nephew, correct, you said? Yes. So is this your sister or your brother? It's my sister's. Okay, so yeah. this is your sister who does it, okay. Yeah. Okay. Do they have any other children? They have, um, actually, he has a half-brother and a sister. Okay. Yep. Okay. Just because he's talking about the siblings and that he always watches up the siblings. Uh, was he the oldest or? Yes, he okay. was the oldest. Yeah. So he's still being that older brother. He's still watching out for them and doing things in, over here. Okay. okay. So just know that. Um, and be careful with your TV. Okay. Okay. Just because there's <laughs> flickering or staticking or just random things, mm -hmm. that's him. Oh, okay. So he'll fuck with your TV. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just know that. Maybe that's why I'm changing from the HDMI. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. It is. Oh, because that's the only reason why it is. Okay. Who, did you find a recent handprint somewhere?
somewhere too that wasn't supposed to be there or like in an area that was random? I did not. Handprint? Handprint. Anything about a handprint? Is it either like on a glass tabletop that people don't touch or a window, but I keep seeing a handprint, random handprint. Well, Kaylee did handprints at my house, my granddaughter, just recently painted handprints. This is a show up one. I feel like Spirit left it. There's two. Just pay attention to them. Okay. For oh, me or? Either or. Oh. Because they're showing a handprint. And if, if, if there's a connection with your granddaughter somewhere in Spirit, the Spirit will be showing them handprint. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. There's a handprint on the TV screen. There's like just all this right here. Just, just randomly? Yeah. Like nobody else touched it? No, up. because I was wiping down, dusting, and they were like, yeah, it was right there, yeah. So Spears just pushing, putting fingerprints everywhere too, so. Okay. Pay attention to that. I don't think that's what you know. <laughs> I don't need to get rid of it. Listen, if it keeps happening, it's just spirit. It doesn't okay. happen. Like that. You can get rid of whatever the fuck you want to get rid of. You still have a way to bring it back. Well, <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> that, it happened. Like, she, we downloaded Hulu, and she had HDMI 1. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, Hulu stopped working. Like, she was watching it, and then all of a sudden, it stopped working. And they said it changed from HDMI one to a different one i'm like uh that that that's impossible yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like it was the weirdest mm -hmm. thing because i said you may have to buy a new tv <laughs> you know they, electronics are their favorite things uh, they're their favorite things it, it, honestly it's, it's weird as fuck my fiance and i we were dry we were driving i didn't know what fucking street turned on i was lost i was lost as hell and I said, Spirit, I need a sign. Give me a sign. I'm right here for you. The street light flickered. Just started oh, flickering. Oh, wow. And I was like, that's the street I have to turn down. <laughs> so right as I turned down a street, the street light stopped flickering. And my fiance's like, <laughs> and I'm just like, you don't deal with that every day? Is that how you get directions? Yeah. Like, I, I ask for signs all the time. <laughs> all the time. Anyone know anything about Blue Jays, though? I keep seeing birds everywhere. Birds, 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 and blue jays. Yeah, there's a guy at the bird feeder this morning. I saw a blue jay out there. Okay. Oh, wow. Because yeah. there's some about blue jays, so just pay attention to that. I feel like I saw your father's popping up and saying, hey, okay. I know you're having a party tonight. I'm going to be there. Yeah. And then I'm going to fucking do it. <laughs> but the blue jays, so pay attention to that. And he might just throw his blue jays at the window one day. You know, that gets creepy, too. Oh, okay. They'll, like, knock at the window, and they won't yeah. eat, and the spirit's like, go knock at the window. Spirits tell animals to do shit. Oh. Yeah, they do a lot of random things. My mom, my grandpa used toads for my mom. Toads. Oh, wow. Uh, toads everywhere. Toads. We used to have toads all the time at my house growing up. And then when she moved into her house, I haven't seen a goddamn toad and I see him up there. <laughs> yeah. And so my grandpa left my fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> have you been having back problems? Yes, I have back problems. What's going on right now? Do you have a pinched nerve or a bulging disc type situation? I have both. Okay, so you have both. Because that's not going to get any better, Tony. Eh? <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm yeah. so sorry to say that. Yeah. But I just spill out everything. And yeah. Is there surgery? Have they talked about surgery for you on your back? No. no. I'm trying to avoid it. Okay. I'm going well, to a chiropractor. I'm going to let you know down the line, not right away. You're going to have to end up having surgery. Okay. They may have one side. I feel like one of the discs for you. I don't know if you're just. I have that. a, I have a herniated disc in my lower back. Okay. So yeah. Like and I have pinch nerves in my shoulder. Okay. So just be careful. I feel like that's going to end up happening in that direction for yourself. Okay. Okay. Um, nothing terrible. Yeah. Do you see colors around people? Colors? Do you ever see someone and like see their like around them their color like colors around them? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they're just showing me that you can read auras. Um, so if you like look more into that, kind of practice it up for you, you might start to see something different. Okay. okay. Auras will be very interesting for you because you're very psychic too. Um, you're very connected because there's a lot of purple around you, and it okay. means that you have a psychic, you, you have a psychic connection, very, very connected with psychic abilities. So you probably have the clairs that we talked about might work one might work more than the other, things like that. But you'll see things more, so colors and shadows and orbs and things like that. You'll, you'll have more sight than anything else. 
Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So pay attention to that. Okay. Um, the funny thing though is that I have a lot of sight. I have a lot of sight compared to my other my other Claire's, but I'm blind as fuck. Like you're blurry me right now, and I really should be wearing I should be wearing glasses like, while driving. I never do. Oh. I never do. I know, but I hate them. I hate them so much. I mean, at, at nighttime, that's when that's when it's worse, obviously. But I'm blind. And I'm like in my mom. I, 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 she's like, who's at the door? And I'm like, looking, squinting. And I'm like, I don't know, I can't see that far. She's like, you can see dead people, you can't see the fucking door. Because some people come here to you. Yeah, they, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't see shit, so you're blurred to me, just so you know. Okay. Um, but you do have a lot of purple around you, and I do see the back aches and things like that. The surgery will be coming up. Not too soon, but down the line for you. Okay. Um, there is something wrong with your knee, too, so be very careful in that area. I don't know if it's going to pop or you're going to have Yeah, my knee's been bothering me when I went to Nashville. I was having knee problems. Okay, because I keep seeing the knee, and that's going to be another fucking fish problem. I'm going to let you know right now. Um, I, be careful with swelling or water in, water on the knee type situation. I'm not going to drink in that, but there's pressure, I feel. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Is it getting warm? Do you feel it being like getting warm at all? or No. No? Mm -mm. Okay. Just be careful. Because usually when there's the, the fluid part, it usually okay. warms up. So just be very careful in that area, okay? Okay. Um, with that, there's like a lot. You have... family reunion going on behind you. <laughs> What's going on? But I keep seeing two people standing on either side, and I feel like there's a couple of people behind them. Okay. Um, and then there's something about an animal, too. There's some other dog of some sort. Of you know what I mean? Oh. There's a dog for you that kind of... Recently yes. or the last time you read me? Okay. I read it before. Yeah, and you the first thing you said was a dog. Oh my god, when I read you. Like, uh, that's, that's another thing, guys. I will not remember guys. You guys will probably yeah. not forget. Yeah, you read me my Jennifer Haymar's party in July. And the first thing you said is there's a little small dog to a medium sized dog that I put that I had to put down and that was okay. Now I just lost AC on New Year's Eve. He okay. died just as I walked in my house. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's probably the newer death then. Okay. Usually what happens is one likes to tell you it's okay, and then if another one passes, they're showing up saying He waited for happens. me to come home at lunchtime. Okay. So just know that he is okay. He's happy and healthy over here too. He's with the other one just playing, doing whatever the fuck they want to do over here. They were best friends. <laughs> they lived together. Did you keep like their name tag or like their collar or the yeah. or something? Yeah. Because do you have his hanging up recently? Like, I have I have his old leash, the black leash, in my closet, and I have my other dog's collar stuff. Okay. So just know that they they know that they know that and they do they do care about that. They said that they they were happy that you were their mother. They were really happy about that. They said they wouldn't laugh for anything else than that. Okay. Um, it's so weird talking dead animals. It is very weird. I talked to a horse once. That was fucking. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, well, also, what happens is they talk telepathically, so everything comes to my head. Um, so they don't really move their, their mouth, they just like pop up and just start whatever they want to do. Um, so just know that they're they're over there too. Um, I can't, like, I, I'm sorry I can't remember readings or anything like that. That's okay. That's good. I'm, I'm glad sure that you don't it. remember me. A lot of people love that because they're just like, well, then I can come and see you, not even, right. you know. Right. Yeah. The only people I do remember is like everyone that comes like once a month. I don't know if they yeah. Don't yeah. You, but I never yeah. No, I'm glad. Yeah. So just know that this dog is because they're both over there happy and healthy too. There's a father figure for you too. Who's the father that passed away for you? Or do you have a father figure that passed away for you? My father's still alive. Figure, maybe your uncle. Do you know anyone that had a problem with their jaw or maybe chewed or did something in that manner? Mm -mm. Okay. Don't know what it is. There's a father figure that stands on that side of you, and he shows that you or something with his jaw. Okay. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Maybe that can pop up for you. A lot of people have issues remembering things. I do. And when I do a reading, their like brain shuts off. Like, oh shit, this is happening. And then okay. when they leave, they're like, oh my god, that person used to do that. <laughs> okay. So just remember that. Okay. okay. Um. I just got a spleen. Where the fuck's the spleen at? My cousin's boy had his spleen removed. Okay. But he's alive. So. Yeah. 
No, it's still not still alive. Yeah. Yeah. So what's going on? And is he okay lately? When was that surgery? Or when, did he get when he was young. Okay. Yeah, he's so in he's his thirties now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what his his friends are bringing up spleen. So I just keep an eye on him. Maybe he's nothing tragic. Maybe he might start having irritation or something going on. Um, what does a spleen do? What is a spleen for? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. There's something to do with the liver. Yeah, it helps to clean up, like the bile. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I couldn't remember if I was 56 or 57. <laughs> Just when I'm playing Yahtzee. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some today. <laughs> Something about the number four or 44. Pay attention. I don't, I can't, I don't have my book with me. There's, I have a book called Angel Number 101. Um, I hate numbers with passion. I hate them. But Spirit likes to show me numbers all the time. Um, Is it a good number? When they show me angel numbers, they're usually meaning a good thing. So when you get a chance, um, go on, go on Google and type in what does 44 mean spiritually. Okay. Um, it'll tell you a little definition of what 44 means. Okay. Okay. Um, 44 and, um, there's something else for it. I keep saying, there's something about factory. Where do you work? I work at a high school. Do you know about a factory at all or? Do you know someone that works at a factory? I keep seeing a really big building with smoke coming up of the top of it. No, my husband used to talk about a smoke factory. A smoke factory. Like with my son who owns the house. Okay. When he was little, he used to say, Derek used to say, look at daddy, there's a smoke stack. Oh, I don't know why. Is there something significant with that besides that? He just, uh, Derek used to say, Daddy, what's that all the time? I lost my husband. Oh, so he's probably bringing that, that's who that is then? It could be, because he always used to say, oh, he used to think it was funny. Okay. I was like, oh, Daddy, what's that? That's a smokestack. And every time we'd go to my parents' house at Whitney Point, it was a conversation that Derek and his father used to have all okay. the time about smokestacks. Okay, just because that's what I'm seeing is like a big building and smoke coming out of it. Yeah. So it's probably, it's probably, so he's probably seven four, so he's bringing that up, okay? That's awesome. Okay. That's awesome. You said Whitney Point? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some memories. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, how long has that been since you passed? Um, it was a year in January. What do you pass from? Cancer. Melanoma. That's my wife. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, he's, he's saying something, but I'm like, that's weird. That's weird. What's melanoma cancer? Skin. Oh. He could just be bad. Do you think about ties? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? What do you have? Oh, oh, the day break, the day break one again. It's the same one. You said that to me last time. You don't remember? Like, you said, keep springing up. What's up with the fucking tie? What's up with the fucking tie? And I brought it out of Which my purse. Which one was this? Like, where was it? Like, in Binghamton. Okay, can you tell me what purse you designed? I would think with interior design. So it right. was... It was upstairs. You were late because you couldn't find the place. Kelly was the first one, then Jennifer. Um, 
Who was who was sitting? Where, where was I sitting? I was sitting right next to you. You, my husband was like you said. I'm going to start with you because he's a hog and he's going to talk. He's talking my ear off. And then you went around the whole circle. And then you came back and said, "I'm going to end with you," and I'm going to say, "There's this guy that keeps on saying, what's up with the fucking tie? What's up with the fucking tie?'" So you said to me, "What's up? Ask her about the tie. Ask her and about the tie." tie I have it again. I have it again. <laughs> it's still in my wallet because I said to you, everybody then started crying because my husband's. I my my son got married um, in June last year, and I wasn't sure if I could get through the wedding. And yeah, I think there was a fireplace. Yeah. yeah. Here's the tie piece I brought up to you last time. Yeah. Still in my wallet from last time I saw you, and you just go, "What's up with the fucking tie?" Because he keeps asking. Me about you. Yeah, and you bring it up again. I don't. I don't. Were he a smartass too? Um. Yeah. He. He. Yeah. That's his clone. Mm -hmm. Geo. I think I can remember now because I said you cut his tie. Yeah, I wanted a piece of him, like to be able to smell him at Corey's wedding. And so then, before I left, Rick and I used to watch like the Tyler Henry Medium yeah. on TV, and we really liked it. And we didn't watch very many shows together. And we always said, oh, we should bring it. So I ran back in, got the tie, put it in my purse, didn't tell anybody. And then you came back around and go, this guy keeps on asking about, ask him about the tie, ask him about the tie. So you go, what's up with the fucking tie? <laughs> and then I went, oh, this tie? And everybody just started bawling. I just keep seeing ties. He keeps on showing me ties to them. And I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about with ties? So he, at least he's being patient now. Because if he was interrupting last reading or wanted to talk to you a lot then, at least being nice now. <laughs> I was wondering if he would be. I never ever remember my readings though, and I, and I feel like I should like sometimes I like I mean it's a good thing it is a good thing yeah but sometimes I wish I could like I mean there's pieces that I do remember of certain ones that are significant significant mm -hmm. um like one time I was talking with one lady I can't remember who was stepping forward to talk to her and then I said your brother's here and she goes Chris don't say that my brother's sick and. My, we haven't heard from him in a few days. My husband's going out of town right now to see him because he's been in town. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't have to guess what I'm talking about, but we can skip over him so you, so that you know. And then um, she messages the business page that night and goes, you were right, my brother passed away. Wow. His soul is there telling her that he's going to wow. back. So that's like wow. the significant things. I should, I should have fucking remembered this because this is kind of significant. <laughs> Well, well it's remember. just a funny that each time you've seen me, you bring up that tie. tie. And I don't take it out of my wallet because it's a piece of Rick. Yeah. And that was his favorite tie. I think I think he I think he likes to validate that though. I think he just likes to tell you he's here and he knows that you still have his tie. I think because that's what spirits do. It's mainly people that come to see me want to know about validation, to right. know and heal from that validation. Right. So I'm not surprised that and bringing it up now is just saying this is real I and mean, this is happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the, the two times you've seen me, you brought up that tie. Yeah. And I can't even remember you. And the dog. And the dog. Yeah. Yeah. The tie, you start out with a dog, and then but I lost another dog from the last time I saw you. Yeah. He's a unique man. He's very funny over here. <laughs> he did have a good sense of humor. He's talking about a plug. A plug? Do you have a plug? Like what kind of plug? You kind of show me like a sink plug or something like that, like a plug. Is something draining or leaking or something like that? Well, <laughs> yeah, I had a problem with my pool this year, trying to get it to, uh, he used to start my pool up, but it took me all summer to get my pool where it wasn't green. Um, and I've had to work really hard to. So you, do you, you get to do that again this year too? Yeah. And there's plugs that my dad went, like he kept questioning the plugs that my dad kept, my dad closed the pool and he kept on, he wasn't sure on two plugs on each side. He couldn't remember if Rick, what plugs were in those two, um, you know, cause he didn't want the, uh, the, 
the pipe to freeze. Yeah. So my dad was focusing on these two plugs. Okay, because I'm on the plug, but then he's also telling me, do you have, do you, have you patched the pool at all? Uh, we, we Rick had scuba divers come because he's so cheap he wouldn't get a new liner, so yes. So we, we have patched that pool many okay, times. Okay, we're going to have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new liner! Come on. So you tell me my dad screwed up with the plugs? No. I'm not saying that. He might be saying that. I'm not saying that. Oh, so Rick's saying that maybe we screwed up on closing the pool? There's something with the plug and then the liner and some of the liner and patches. So, I mean... Get your scuba diver. You better, you better call. <laughs> <laughs> you better yeah, but the up. liner's only two years old. <laughs> wow. That's what your back gives out. <laughs> <laughs> you said not soon, though. You said not soon, so. Things can change. Well, I'm glad that he came through because yeah, I had a conversation good. with him last night. And so <laughs> it'd be nice if he'd come through. You know how many people do that? Everyone does that. And then sometimes they'll, they'll just talk when you're off on trying to talk to somebody else. And they'll just keep going, 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 and going. And it's like, listen, I can talk to whoever this is. Did you tell him to fucking talk to me this morning? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, can you not do that? I'm trying to have a conversation with this person. I'm just shaking your chat in my ear off. But thank God he waited at least. He, yeah, well, he was a patient person, but he was, I just lost him the last time I saw you. It was like within. A new, so he was newer energy then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. But he was a much, he's very patient. He he would very, he would sit back and let everybody else know, you know, that's the type of person he was. Who else was at the party? Nobody else here. Nobody else here? So no. Sure. Yeah. I can't remember people, so if you guys were there, I'm sorry. <laughs> You will see me in public. Oh my god. And like, just say hi to the I just want to sometimes I'm like, hey, how's it going? Yeah. I tell you. Yeah. Sometimes I just like look and I'm like, terrible. Do you guys know the Clarity Connect? Do you guys, the event that happened last night, do you guys hear about that? It's the fifth mm -hmm. one. It was, it's like a, it's a motivational speaking thing that happened on my own. You know, people stop me in there. It's like, Chris, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, you haven't met me yet. But, and it's like, okay, then just meet me later. I'm trying to watch this. <laughs> Celebrity. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I don't like how much people are, I guess, like, popular like that. But when they stop me in public, I'm just like, you yeah, know, slow, slow your roll. Who had breast cancer? You had breast cancer? Twice. Okay. Did you get uh, breast removed at all? or? Yes. Okay. Have you been checked recently for any cancer at all? or? Um, well, I had to go for my scope and my throat. The camera thing? Um, no. Well, I'm out, but they go down to my esophagus and um, the skin. And yeah, last time he went and he took off five polyps. No, I don't. I I don't tell people like, oh, he has cancer or whatever. Cause that's not me. But um, I don't see anything like that. But I do keep seeing someone out being checked out, checked out, checked out yeah. repeatedly. Repeatedly, and then they talk about the breast cancer, breast cancer, breast cancer. Yeah. I do worry about um, the heart though. Um, what's going on with your heart? Um, I have to have another thirty day monitor um, because I have a. Atrial tachycardia. Okay. And it's now, getting worse. Have you been under any stress lately, too? Oh, I lost my husband. So oh, yeah. Yeah. Course, yeah. <laughs> That's just a dumb question to ask. Um, yeah. Just because we're going to see the heart actually, uh, the stress, too. Yeah. And too. I keep hearing, calm down, calm down, calm down. That's not good. Yeah, um, yeah so, it's been going crazy. Okay. So yeah. please be careful on that. Please be very careful on that. Does anyone know like someone that passed from the throat? My husband. What do you what do you have? Esophageal. He's just a chatty Kathy, isn't he? <laughs> he was a friendly guy. I said, 
you explain more? Did you really want to talk about that at all, or? I do. Who was that? My doctor. So Troy's son. Oh, my son. Wow. Just because I because I keep getting throat, and I'm like, okay, explain more. Because I'm thinking it's your husband. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, I keep seeing a rug, a rug, a rug. Oh, really? Yeah. And were you close with? I knew he was good friends with my son, okay. Ryan, the smartass. <laughs> Sorry. But I, I was, I knew him because, you know, he went to the school I work at. Okay. Just know, because it's not saying too much over here. You just want to say, say I'm happy and healthy and let everyone know that. Okay. So just tell his, his mother, you know yeah. his mother. Yeah. So tell his mother he's, he's good over here. Um, Insulin to the head now. Everyone's fucking popping them. Hold on. <laughs> There's a head trauma of some sort too. Mm -hmm. I keep seeing something with the head. Could have been my first husband's with Sally. Yeah, head trauma. Do you know his eye too? What was it? His eye. He didn't have half the face. Oh. <laughs> That's a lot of head trauma. That's a lot. <laughs> of head trauma. Okay. Everyone wants to. You always have those good portions and everyone just starts coming in again. Does anyone have any questions or anything else they want to know about or anything further? That we didn't discuss yet? I'm trying to get more information on this. I just keep seeing things that's popping up right now and I'm trying to slow things down. An old fashioned name is Iggy? Iggy? seen somebody with this very old fashioned weird name and um puffy red hair red hair red hair red hair so I said from shorter nails done
have, um, my husband and I, and the children, had always felt that there's a spirit in our house. But we always called it Harry. And it turns things on and off, and the curtains move, and um, we'll go through periods where sometimes things will work. And then, Do you feel like it's male? I, I, I always felt like it was male. But, yeah, no, I don't, because it, it seemed taller. I, like the one time I felt like I, I could see the shadow and it was taller. You know, but yeah, we've always felt we had somebody there. Amanda, is that AC still? Anybody else have any questions or anything else? Anybody else want to talk about it? I don't. Um, <clears throat> my husband passed around seven years ago. He went on vacation to visit a relative that was dying of cancer. Um, he ended up passing away the night he got there in the bathroom. And I want to know if he suffered like a lot or if he died quick. Because he actually was coming out of the shower, apparently, what they said, the police said. And his body was at an angle, so his neck was against the wall. His rest of the body was like this, a flat. So they said they think it was his, he didn't have no air going into him. No, um, he wasn't being able to breathe or whatever. I don't know if he hit his head or what when he came out, but nobody ever found out what was wrong with him. But it was no foul play. Did you bring anything to him? I did. I bought, her, bought his um, wedding ring. Didn't you say you were, a little bit ago you were seeing somebody with a throat? Yeah, a throat. Yeah. Did it look like he, so he, it like he fell, like he slipped and fell? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I don't like to blow smoke up people's asses. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and be like, you carry telling me blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. My spirit guide is connecting me right now because he, his energy is not a low energy right now, but I feel like he's just not ready to communicate exactly. Mm -hmm. But um, what my spirit guide explains to me, my spirit guide, Anna, um, she explained to me how he did have an issue with his, he was having issues with his throat. He couldn't, he couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. He went into a panic mm -hmm. and he was trying to rush and he did slip. Okay. Um, and he did fall and that's how he was angled after he fell. Okay. So it was, it was pretty much like a freak accident. Type yes. Situation. Okay. Yep. Um, he did not suffer. Okay. He did not suffer at all. Did he play cards a lot? Did he like to play cards? Yep. You know? All kinds of games. Cards, okay. you know. Because he's, he's too busy over here playing cards right now. I'm sorry. He's just <laughs> not just him playing cards over in the corner. So just know he's over there. He is happy and healthy. Okay. Um, now with this, like I said, because it's a big group of people, it's hard for me to connect to a lot of energies because there's mm -hmm. so many coming at me at one time. Mm -hmm. If you do want a one-on-one, -on -one, that's completely fine. And maybe he might pop up then. I can okay. promise you that. But it's always easier for one-on-ones to connect better. Got it. Um, but yeah, it was a freak accident type situation. I do see him having trouble breathing. She does show me him rushing. He's, he's trying to rush and mm -hmm. he slips and that's when he fell and stuff. He did hit his head first. Okay. Um, which then kind of went like this to yeah. him, which then he like slid downward type situation, which is very kind of weird and morbid to see inside my head right now. Mm -hmm. Um, but he did, he did end up falling and sliding down. He rested there. Yeah. He did not suffer at all. Um, he did say that he, he, she's saying that he did feel pain, of course, when it happened, but I feel like his neck snapped mm -hmm. and did it. Cause I feel like when it snapped, that's when he felt like a click and then it, it went like he didn't he didn't suffer as he was laying there it pretty much just next snap he died mm -hmm. you know what I mean? mm -hmm. yeah. so it was very it was very fast okay. so just know he, he's fine over here he's playing cards um but he he's he'll talk eventually down the line but as of right now he's over here just He's yeah. just chilling. He's doing yeah. what the hell he wants to do. <laughs> That's good. Um, he's a very unique man over here. So mm -hmm. just playing cards. Uh, I keep seeing like um, what's 
old or fashioned card game, euchre, or whatever it's called, or do you know what I mean? What is it called? No, euchre bench. Yeah, some kind of. I think it's, it's a good card game. I play with. with you play poker? Do I play poker? No, did he play poker? No, no, no. no. What do you used to play all the time? Because um, it's he's showing me a game that I don't understand. What like it's, it's like it's like a euchre type situation. It's an older game, but I, I mean I didn't really play as much. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I haven't really played a lot of card games. It's just no specific one. Yeah, okay. you know? Just because he's always yeah. playing cards. So. Yeah. But he didn't suffer. Anna okay. was telling me he didn't suffer at all. He's he's good. He's happy and healthy right here. Um, there will be um, a time you'll hear you'll hear your name called. You'll hear your name called or whisper in your name. He'll talk to you. Okay. Okay. So just pay attention to that. Okay. All right. But other than that, he's good. Cool. Good. Good. Thank you. Anybody else? I mean, everybody, everybody does that. You know, some people come to me with lists. Like, I usually go like the last 10 minutes of questions and I'll pull out lists. And it's like, honey, you better pick whatever the hell you want to pick because I'm not doing that. My mom, is she? What's her name? Uh, Joyce. You know, that might be the Judith. Is she short? Mm -hmm. Does she like tall hair, like puffy hair? She has curls. Uh, yeah, curls. Okay. She's... Just because I get names mixed up, so Joyce and Judith mm -hmm. type situation. That's I don't okay. know if that's the exact time. Huh? No. Well, <coughs> no, no, no. Blonde ish, taller, yeah. dyed. I um did she have going down the Loud. Did she have a personality that would like light up the room type situation, I should say? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. What do you think? I don't think she was loud, but she was. I'm not saying she would go in there and just start fucking screaming, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like her personality was like right there, like you knew she was like a loud type situation. Mm -hmm. I don't know who the hell this is, but okay, that's good then. Mm -hmm. Let me talk to you. Is she buried? No. She's cremated? Mm -hmm. What's with the flag, the, a small flag, a small flag? A small flag? Mm -hmm. Well, you know those little flags. <laughs> little flag. Um, Anne's just describing that thing for some reason. But, um, what's her name again? How old is she when she passed? 63. Um, picture of somebody would you be able to tell me if they could if something on that I can try okay I can try okay <laughs> <laughs> is this like a brother mm -hmm. did he pass mm -hmm. how old was he when he passed away 
13. Did you have your son before or after he passed? I was only 10 when he died. Oh, when he died? Yeah. There's something about his, your son's soul and his soul. And I don't know, and I'm not saying he reincarnated your son, but for some reason, they connect. They connect. Like which one? I have three. The, what's the, your husband, right? Yeah. What's oh, his name? Brian. Brian. Okay. I feel like Brian. Which one, how, which child is that? He's, yeah. my, He's my youngest. And okay. they have similar personalities. My brother was a smart ass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He was. I've never lived that down. Mm -hmm. um, but he was. <laughs> but um, he connects with him very well. Very well. The souls. Because Ryan's out. here. Oh, yes. Yeah, do you want him mm -hmm. to come out? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I'll no, that. I, know, I know your mom's also said, though, Connor. Do you want it with Ryan? Can I meet him when I leave? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I, don't, I don't mind meeting them. I was just wondering if, like... Some men are, yes. Some men are. Some men I can read perfectly fine. Yeah. Um, I mean, I read, I read everyone perfectly yeah. fine, usually. But what happens is I'm very... I, I always smell that through people that I'm mm. So, I mean, it doesn't matter what men it is. Yeah. But I'm very, like, shut off to men. Yeah. Mm. So, like, when there's men around me, like, Ugh! you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't yeah. do anything, but, like, I'm really yeah. nervous. So, like, yeah. I have to get over that part still. Yeah. But, um... Yeah. Just, That's I'll okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I just know that your mom has said Connor reminds like his like the sweet and the simple Connor reminds her of Eddie. Yeah. yeah. So we're yeah, he was just always a jokester, yeah. just like Ryan. Ryan is just. I always feel like he's really connected to to Ryan that near that's your husband instead of him. I don't know why, but for some, and I'm not saying he's reincarnated because I don't right. feel like he's a reincarnated soul yet. Um, he still has some work to do on the other side, but um. I feel like kind of a spirit guide maybe to your son type situation, kind of like being there for him. Um, sometimes our family can become spirit guides to our children if our children never met them. So I feel like he's kind of guiding um, your son. Okay. Just so you know. Okay. Um, he hasn't popped up like fully yet, but. Yeah. I've never seen a picture of him. Yeah. But did you guys enjoy your reading? Yeah, yes. thank you. I hope to see you all again at some point.